Good morning guys and welcome back to Kitchen to Cook with me. We are making some Sunday dinner. It's early Sunday morning. I mean real early so I'm seasoning up my oxtail because they will have some time to sit and marinate. You see these big chunks is here because I bought these at Publix and not at the regular arm. Um, you know like little Caribbean stores you buy them at and they'll cut them small for you. I bought them once at um, Sam's Cubs before and I had the same big pieces. So today we're going to be cooking these into the Instapot because we want these big old things cooked easy, the best easy way you can. I have washed them in vinegar and water and I have trimmed the excess fat. Now the reason I got these from Publix or like I said the one time from Sam's is I noticed since the pandemic oxtail have gone to damn near $9 a pound. It's crazy. And I get them from Publix or Sam's, they're $6.99 a pound. So I'd rather deal with these big things right here and cook them in the Instant Pot or this slow cooker, whatever you have, than to pay almost $9 a pound. So that is cleaned up. I've trimmed some excess fat. So <coughs> let's get rid of the season off. And this is my green seasoning. This one is just about done. I have another jar, so that's about two half tablespoons of green seasoning on there. And this Maggie um, seasoning I've shown you guys before, got it on Amazon. Absolutely love it. Goes so great on beef. So that's about a tablespoon on there. Jamaican browning mix. Put a nice teaspoon on there. And get some dry seasoning, paprika. A small paprika. Garlic powder. Seasoning salt. This oxide is about um a little bit over five pounds actually. Just to let you know. My um supreme soul seasoning. It's a Jamaican brand I got from, from um Amazon also. I'm gonna look at it again. Supreme Spice Supreme. I've seen a lot of these this brand on Amazon. I'm gonna try some more of them. I actually love this one. And this is black pepper. This is all spice, ground all spice. That's potent, so I use about a teaspoon of that. Everything else is about a tablespoon, but all spice about a teaspoon. And just a smidgen of salt. I'm just gonna put a smidgen of salt. That was less than a teaspoon of salt. This is my ground allspice and ground ginger. I would recommend just adding some ground ginger since you already added the allspice, but it's come together. Um, for spice, I actually have some. I'm running out of this too. My pepper sauce. So the combination of um, Scotch bonnet and um, I had it a few I think jalapenos in there. Some green seasoning. And that's how I made that. Okay, so guys, let's get this in the sink. I can get my hand in there. We're gonna rub this up really well. Okay. 
Okay. So this is this seasoned oxtail. I'm gonna wrap this and refrigerate this for a few hours. I'm gonna take it out at least an hour before it's time to cook it so it's not cold. And then I'm gonna soak my um my red peas. I'll see you back when I come to wash and soak the red peas, okay? So guys, I have this um one pound of dry red bean. I got dry red bean. Oops, this one pound. I'm gonna use just about a half of it. Okay. First, you wanna go through it and see if there's any that looks dilapidated or you know, just not right. So what can we we want to do? I'm gonna soak this in water, nothing fancy. That's it, just water. Until it's time to cook them. They're gonna get to get soaked for a few hours like the oxtails go. Usually I do this overnight too. So that's it. Just gonna soak these. And guys, I'll see you back in a few hours when it's time to cook. I'm gonna go make me a little breakfast with my coffee and enjoy some online worship. And then I will see you back soon. Peas has been soaking. I'll still marinate it. Let me see. Let me see if I can remember. It's been about four hours. Okay, so um, here we go. This is what the peas look like when you soak it. You can see the water is starting to get red. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the stove on this. I'm gonna put two small bay leaves in here. Some fresh thyme, and that's it. It's gonna take about 45 minutes for this piece to cook, so let me time it on the stove. And then I'm gonna come back and season it up real good for a little while before I add the rice to it. So 45 minutes on the peas. Now let's move over here. Let's see if you can see inside. Oh, I gotta pick this up a bit. So this is my um, Insta Pot. I don't have it on any setting yet. Right now I just have it on manual and on. And so to the Instapot, oh, here it is. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of, of, of um, oil. You can use whatever oil you have. This is vegetable oil I'm using here. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, minced garlic to the vegetable oil. That's minced garlic in the vegetable oil. We're gonna add the um I thought my tripod was taller. But I guess the one I sent back is the taller one. So I'm just adding in all the pieces of the um The oxtail, I couldn't remember for whatever for the life of me, I couldn't remember what I was looking for. So I'm adding the oxtail in. Oh, 
Okay, to the, to the oxtail, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of flour. This is going to help to thicken up the gravy when that time comes. I'm adding, I'm adding it in early. Two reasons. I want it to cook out. And the oxtail will have a lot of liquid in there when I come back. I don't want to put it in with a lot of liquid and then, you know, I get lumps. So it's best to do that now. These big pieces are not so easy to maneuver. Okay. Now here's the, the seasoning, the leftover from the, the seasoned oxtail. Of course, I'm gonna pour that in here. There's too much goodness to lose. The bowl is still, I'm still gonna use that later. Okay. I'm gonna put a pinch of um, unsalted beef broth in here. Like I told you, it, this will have a lot of fluid of its own. So that was less than a third of a cup of, of the beef broth. Now let me get ready to put my lid on. Okay, here we go, it's locked in. So now that it's locked in, I'm gonna change the setting. I'm gonna remove it from manual by just pushing. Where's the off? Off, and then I'm gonna put it on meat stew. And it's already on 90 minutes for meat stew. I'm gonna give it an hour. Cause those pieces are so big. So there we go, meat stew one hour on the Insta Pot. Oh wow. Yeah, there you go. Meat to one hour on the instant pot. Okay. Now I have over here some vegetables that I'm gonna need. Carrots. I'm just a mess today. I have some um green onions, both for the oxtail and the um rice and peas. I have three carrots for the oxtail. I only have three because I'm gonna use the carrots along with butter beans. And I found some cut tomatoes. I want to use them up for the oxtail. Some onions for the oxtail as well. And I have some fresh thyme over there. And I will see you back in 41 minutes when, the, when it's time to season up the peas, okay? So guys, I got creative and I moved the instant pot on this little table right here so that when we come to check on it, you can actually see in there. So see you back in 39 minutes, okay? All right, guys, so I'm back. It's been 45 minutes on my peas. So let's give it a check. Let's give it a check. See, see, you can just, yes, I washed my hands prior. Just give it a squeeze, you see that? So you know your peas is cooked. So I'm going to add some stuff to this now. Two green onions that I cut into. A little bit more fresh thyme coconut milk of course okay I have one scott bunny pepper here I have a little bit more than a half a stick of butter I'm gonna add this to it also I'm gonna add a little bit of my green seasoning A teaspoon of salt. Some seasoning salt, of course. You want the rice and peas with enough, enough flavor. And some of this um, vegetable seasoning broth. It's time to order another one. Okay, I'm gonna let this all cook together for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna wash 
I'm going to wash about two and a half cups of rice to prepare for this. And so I'll see you back in 10 minutes. Whoops, what am I doing? In the meantime, our oxtail is halfway through to the first point anyway. Hello, welcome back. The kitchen is making noise because the 10 minutes is up. So I'm going to check on this. I forgot to taste before I leave to make sure I, the salt content is good. So let's do that right now. It's okay, but I'm going to add just a smidgen more. Okay, I said I was going to wash two cups of rice. When I went to get my rice, my um, open bag of rice had more like three and a half cups in there, and I'm like, just to, just for um, just for the sake of organization, let me just finish this this bag up. So I just washed all of it. I mean. Why not? Tomorrow is Monday. Y'all know I don't like to cook on Mondays. So, we'll have it up. And I usually don't cook early on Sundays. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I grew up, you know, with my mom. Before church, dinner was ready. And I don't like that. I like my food just fresh. And that's when I'm ready to eat it. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try to break that. See if I can cook early. Maybe have a little bit for lunch and then maybe a little for dinner. Who knows? So we'll see. So I washed the three and a half cups of rice that was left over. I'm trying to it's on the side so it doesn't you know, boil over. So this is going to cook for about 25 minutes. Let me see how much time. Oops. Y'all did not hear that. I have some time left on this oxtail. I will see you guys back soon, okay? Ooh. My rice and peas done. It go perfect. Oh, I'm gonna fry some plantains. While I'm waiting on the, the oxtail. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this is the Insta part ended. I'm letting the steam out so we can unlock it. I guess some good is going on in there, okay? In the meantime, I'm starting my planting over here. Started a little thin cabbage. Okay, let's open this bad boy. Ooh, I hope you guys can see in there. Oh my god. Ooh. Jesus, Jesus. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. You can eat this just as is right now. I promise you. You don't need a thing else. A lot of mercy. Look. But just because, you know, we're just going to add some more just because. So, guys, whoops. Here I have onion, carrots, green onion, 
tomato butter. And I forgot to open the butter beans. Let's do that now. Just get this in here, okay? Here we go. Let's stir this all in there. Uh -huh. Good grief! Let me show y'all something. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can let y'all see what I'm talking about here. Look at this. Look at it. Okay, y'all remember this goodness I said I was gonna put in there? Like I said, it can't hurt, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to beef broth. Just a little bit. The meat is already so tender. So to finish this up, like 10 minutes or so, I really don't need to lock the Instapot anymore, so I'm just going to put it on manual again. Just put it on manual. And just rest, rest the lid on it like so. Okay. Now I'm finishing up my plantains. finish up my plantains and my cabbage and hopefully they'll be done I'm sure they'll be done by the 10 minutes of the instapot see you soon all right guys I'm gonna add a little ketchup to our Can you see that there? Can you see that marvelousness there, guys? Look at that. That is just marvelous. Mm. Okay. Well, I got a whole bunch of sliced onion fell on the floor. Okay, so I'm just about finishing up my plantains. And I said 10 minutes on the... the Oxtail after putting the carrots and butter beans in, they make that 15, okay? Sorry, guys. So it was one hour under high pressure, meaning I sealed it and put it on meat and stew, one hour. And then after I put all the rest of the stuff in there, 15 minutes. And as far as the one hour, you can actually do 45 minutes if you don't want your meat falling off the bone as much as it is here. Maybe you, you still want your meat a little on the... Um, Gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? The dead side, if you know what I mean. Still tender, just not falling off the bone. Then, you know, 45, the first batch can be 45 minutes. Then once you add your, um, and then you can gauge it from there once you add your butter beans and carrots in how much longer you want it to cook for. If you still want the meat tender but, but dense, you know. Because remember, everybody has preference of how they like things. Me, either way goes for me. Okay, so we, we're almost done here. See you soon. Okay, wonderful people. I am back. Just want to show you some finished product. My rice and peas here. Done. Steamed cabbage. Done. 
Fried plantains, done. I was gonna make some festival, but decided against it at the last minute. Hopefully next time, and here is our oxtail. I will plate some of that up for you to show at the beginning of the video and the end. Guys, I wanna say thank you so much for visiting my, my channel, for watching. Let me show you this, guys. I just gotta stir it up for y'all, okay? Cause Lord of mercy. You remember them big old pieces of oxtail, right? From my kitchen to yours. And look at the consistency of the gravy from me putting that flour in there when I first started it. It is so, oh my God, y'all. I wish y'all could smell this through your computer, your, your, your phone, or whatever device you're watching on. Well, let me shut up once again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming to my channel and watching. I hope you like what you see. And if you do, please show me some love by um, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Help me to get on some good algorithms with Google, with y'all, God help me, with YouTube here, okay? I appreciate the love and the support from my kitchen to yours, from my home to yours. God bless you. And you stay strong. Bye. I just, I okay guys so here's a close-up of the finished product today this is the oxtail when I say this thing is like oh my god so good you know my grandmother taught me not to to be humble but hey when you know you know and this I know so that's the oxtail use our steamed cabbage our plantain and our brown rice my hand is clean. I just want to show you how perfect this, I'm sorry, red pea, rice and bean is. I just want to show you how perfect this, this rice is. Oh my God. Look at that. Absolutely magnificent. So guys, I want to thank you so much for, for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoy and I hope you like what you see and you'll continue to come back for more. God bless and you have a wonderful evening.